Welcome to my channel. My name is Kim Martin and today we are making homemade baby food and I'm so excited to share this video with you and I know like the whole thought of making your own baby food from scratch can be totally intimidating. Trust me, I was intimidated by the process but today I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to show you how simple and easy and fun this process is and I guarantee you and I also am warning you that once you get started making your own baby food um, you're gonna be kind of hooked so um, <laughs> but you know it is a time investment so if you're a busy mama and you don't feel like you have time to like tackle a project like this no shame for that but anyways so before we get started I'm gonna go over some of the basic things you're gonna need to get started um, with the whole process of making your own baby food I'm also gonna show you some of the foods that I have here that I'm going to be making into baby food Today, if you haven't hit the like button, you should do that right now. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting on, but you should do that right now. And let's get started. All right, so excuse the background noise. My baby's crawling around on the floor beside me and moving my tripod around and uh, getting into all sorts of mischief. So really quick, I'm gonna go over a few things you're gonna need. So these are silicone ice cube trays. I recommend using these over the plastic ice cube trays because they're so simple to get the cubes out of. The plastic ones can be a little more tricky to deal with. Right now I have four of these set out, but I'm probably gonna have to dig some more out. I have a few more in my cupboard. All right, then I have a cutting board and a paring knife and a bigger knife. Um, this book is something I cannot recommend enough. This book has helped me out so much um, with my whole baby food journey. In my description box will be a link to my Amazon storefront where I will link this book. What's super cool about this book is it is broken down. For example, like section five is broken down to six to eight month olds. Um, what's safe to be feeding them at that age. Um, and then just some like really fun recipes and tips and tricks and um, it just teaches you so much. It's a really great book. It's helped me tremendously. So anyways, moving on. All right, so another item you're going to need is obviously a stove top, but you're gonna need a pan and a steamer insert. Um, I have my water in there already, as you can see. Um, you're gonna need your steamer insert um, and obviously a lid for that. All right, so let's just go over some of the foods that I have out. So I have sweet potatoes here. I have carrots. I have some avocados here, but I honestly don't think they're ready to be pureed yet. So I might have to just wait and do these tomorrow, but it is very simple to do avocado. I have some strawberries. I have some frozen blueberries back here because blueberries are not in season here where I live. Um, so they're kind of expensive to buy fresh. I have some bananas. And then over here, I have some canned peaches that I canned myself. Um, some canned pears that my mother-in-law made for Callan. And then here we have some green beans that I grew in my garden and canned. Okay, so my sweet potatoes are just about finished steaming. So for the next step, you're going to need a food processor or a blender, whatever you decide to use. I have a tray here with my silicone ice cube trays. So then I also have a roll of plastic wrap. What I'm gonna need that for is as soon as I pour my puree into the trays, I'm gonna put a sheet of plastic wrap on top of the puree. That's just gonna like make sure that there's like no air in there and it will prevent freezer burn in the freezer. So obviously as soon as like they're solidified, I'm going to dump them out into a different container. But until then, I want to have something on the top so that like it isn't just like exposed sweet potato puree in the freezer. So that's why we have plastic wrap. Also, if you are steaming your vegetables, Please don't forget to periodically um, check and make sure you still have some water in the bottom of your pan. Definitely not speaking from experience or anything. Look at this beautiful smell that is happening while I'm inside making baby food. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty.
but I filled up all of my ice cube trays. So now I have to wait for them to freeze um, and then I'll transfer them to a different container and then I can continue making baby food. But anyways, that might take an hour or two or three, I don't even know. So I will be back as soon as they're frozen and in the meantime, I have some editing I can work on and some different things I need to do around the house. So. Yeah, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. And it has not been one day, it has not been two days, it has been a lot of days. And if my voice hasn't given it away already, um, I got sick, so that was fun. Literally, the day after I filmed like the first part of this video or whatever, um, I got sick and I was just like knocked out for several days and I just didn't look good, I didn't feel good. I definitely didn't feel like filming anything, so here we are. Um, but some of my food was gonna go bad, so I did have to puree it and make a baby food. But I think from what I've already filmed, I'm pretty sure you have the gist of it by now. If it's a vegetable, you're going to want to steam it, typically 10 minutes. Most fruits, you don't really have to cook. Um, just puree them, put them in the trays, put them in the freezer. Like I said, it's literally so easy. So if you haven't gotten the gist of it by now, that's totally fine. Go ahead and leave me a comment, ask me any questions. So now that we've talked about that, for just a second here, I kind of wanted to cover some of the different things I paired together for meals. As you saw in the video, I combined like blueberries and banana with some pear and then strawberry with banana. And a lot of the fruits I like to combine when I'm pureeing it. Usually those purees, like the fruit purees, um, I will mix with his oatmeal in the morning. Sometimes I'll add some milk to like get the consistency I want. Whatever is fun for you and whatever works best for you. I've also found that this is just easier and faster just to do it all at once. So like I said, well, it works for you. But if you noticed all of my vegetables so far, I have it pureed together and that is because, um, yeah, I like to be a little more intentional with um, like how often he eats sweet potatoes, how often he eats carrots, how often I add avocado to his diet. So yeah, each of those are pureed separately. So what I'm gonna do is in the description box, I will list a few of my favorite um, combinations. I'll do some fruit combinations. I will also add some of my favorite vegetable combinations. Different things that I like to add with avocado because avocado is a very like neutral flavor. Um, and so, I mean, the opportunities are endless as to like what you can add to that. So yeah, I will list some of my favorites in the description box. Okay, I think that wraps it up for everything I wanted to share in today's video and I hope after watching this you are totally inspired and excited to try and make your own baby food at home. I hope this video was entertaining and enjoyable and I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to like this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.